Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to be talking about savings plan, which is 20.5 in your uh, Go Math book. So I'm going to start by reading um, just kind of the the very first description part, um, and then there's only one word for this unit, so it's going to be kind of a short video, um, and that is the word savings plan for your definition. Um, so I have up here in the section where it begins with unlock the problem. Um, so I'm on 20.5, unlock the problem. I'm just going to kind of read straight forward. Like I said, it's going to be kind of a shorter um, unit <clears throat> for savings plans. People save money for things they want or need. So we talked about wants and needs last week and you completed the T-chart. People save money for things they want and need in the future. When you save money, you keep it and do not spend it. There are many reasons that you and your family might make a plan to save money. So anything that you would save for in the future usually is going to be something more expensive like maybe a house or a car or maybe saving to go to college. Those are all things that you know you want to have or do or um, accomplish in the future. So you're going to have to save money to accomplish those goals. So how do you save money? You can make a savings plan. Okay, so now I'm on the next section, next page, in the highlighted yellow is the definition for what a savings plan is. I'm going to read that straight from the book. A savings plan will help you save money regularly so that you can reach your goals. So you do have to save money regularly. So if you're making money, you might set a portion of that money aside every single month so that you can reach your goal. So the key word here is you're saving the money regularly. You have a plan to put X amount of dollars aside each month or each week, whatever your plan is, but it has to be consistent. And then if you get money for like your birthday or something like that, you can obviously put more money into your into your savings account or, or into your piggy bank or wherever you're saving your money. You could always put more into it, but a savings plan is specifically referring to something that you have a plan to save X amount of dollars each month or each week. That's that's the whole part of the plan, okay? Um, so the biggest thing I want you to uh, do and set up in this unit is making a table, okay? So here on the second page of 20.5, you have the month. And then you have the money saved. So in the first month, month number one, you're saving $75. In month number two, you're saving $150. So you're saving $75 per month. You could use multiplication to get there a little faster, but setting up a table really is very helpful for determining the answers for this savings plan section for 20.5. Okay, that is the only definition that you need to fill in for your go um, for your vocabulary journal for 20.5. And again, <clears throat> it's pretty straightforward. This is a, a little less math heavy and a little bit more like decision making heavy so that you're going to have to determine when and how to save money and when and how to spend money. So just making logical, reasonable decisions about when it is appropriate to save and when it is appropriate to spend money. Um, so that's going to be it. Like I said, it's a short video for 20.5. We're almost done with our financial literacy unit. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Teams or have your parents send me an email. I'm always available. So just reach out to me if you have any questions. Bye, guys.